Number 80, letter A. How far apart are two layers of tissue that produce echoes having round trip times that differ by 0.75 uh, microseconds? All right, so number 79 kind of dealt with this a little bit, so you might want to check that one out. But um, when we had, this is the round trip time, right? 0.75. So if it's a round trip time, that means what's the time it takes to go one way in the ultrasound? Well, you just got to divide that by two, right? So let's just get that out of the way. So 0.75 over two. So that's going to be 0.3. 0.375 microseconds. But now you know we don't need microseconds, we need seconds probably. So why don't we just take this and then multiply that now by 10 to the minus six uh, seconds. Okay, so here's the time it takes for one of the trips. So basically I can use a simple velocity formula. Velocity is equal to the change in distance divided by the change in time, all right? So this is the time difference of the echo. And that time difference of the echo is related to the difference in distances of the two objects, the two layers, right? So if I know the average velocity through the tissue, now what tissue? It doesn't tell me, so I'm just going to use about, I don't know, you could use fat, you could use muscle, you can use an average about 1540, it doesn't matter. But just remember, your answer will be dependent upon that assumption. And we can then solve this for the change of distance, right? So this becomes 0.375 times 10 to the minus 6th. And then the change in distance or the difference in depth essentially is going to be 1540. 1540 times then 0.375 times 10 to the minus 6. And this is about 5.78, 5.78. I don't know what number that looks like. 5.78 times 10 raised to the negative fourth. And that's going to be now in terms of uh, meters. You can convert that into millimeters if you like or whatever. But that would be the difference in distance, all right? And then uh, letter B, what minimum frequency must the ultrasound have to see detail this small? So basically, uh, if this is the, so if, if this is the uh, size of the material we're trying to observe, then the minimum, uh, then that minimum depth or that minimum, whatever you want to call it, the minimum size correlates with the wavelength, okay? So then the wavelength here of the wave needs to be 5.78 times 10 to the minus 4 meters, okay? Now, we also know that the velocity we said will choose the average velocity, 1540 meters per second traveling through, and now I need to find the frequency. So what formula relates those variables? Well, the velocity is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. Solving this for frequency, we get velocity over wavelength, and we can simply now plug it on in. So this is 1540 all divided by 5.78 times 10 to the minus 4th, and let's see what we get. So this is 1540 divided by 5.78 times 10 to the minus fourth. And that's going to be about, the frequency will be about 2.66 times 10 raised to the 3, 6 hertz. All right, and there you go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye.